Hello everyone. I'm going to show you tonight how to format a pixel art in Excel instead of Google Sheets. And I'm going to start from the beginning, which is how to create the artwork. And then I'll do a second video on how to do all the formatting. So this one will be short, just how to set up the artwork. I actually have started making all of mine in Excel because of the format painter. It makes it so much easier. Um, to get started, I always uh, change the cell, the column width, um, highlight, I don't know, 100 or so columns. Um, right click on there and you'll find column width. I usually set it to about two. The default is 8.11. Um, columns are measured differently in Excel than they are in Google Sheets, so it's just a little different. But if I set it to two, it gives me some nice, um, decent squares with, with my columns and a nice size. So that's what I do to get started. Um, then I've picked out a piece of artwork to use um, here. Uh, I'm gonna do this little uh, imposter guy. I think he's dressed like a doctor. I think that's what that is. But anyway, um, you wanna start by just picking a point and get moving. I'll start at the top. Um, there's three black ones, so I'm gonna color this in black. And then what I do is I highlight just one black cell, double click on the Format Painter, and then you can just start filling in the squares that you see, kind of looking back and forth. And every cell that you click on, whoops, I made a mistake on that one, so I have to go back and fix it. To get your painter to turn off, you hit the Escape key, and then I'm going to go back to this one where I made a mistake. And I'm going to click on no fill. I know it's supposed to be another color, but I like to do one color at a time. It just kind of helps me sort through it. Um, you can really do it any way you want. So I'm going to double click on that format painter again and keep going with my artwork. I have found this to be so much easier um, and less time consuming than doing it in Google Sheets. So I've started to do all my artwork here. Okay, so stay with, oh, I want to show you um, the, how to choose a different color. Um, this uh, blue would be under here, this, uh, the top part of his face, I guess. Um, there isn't that, that color here in the choices, but you can always go to more colors and then you have more to choose from. In fact, the colors are infinite because you could make it a custom color by sliding around the different arrows and things to choose different colors. So if you're real picky about a color, you can usually find it on here. Oh, that one looks pretty good. I'll, I'll choose that. All right, so that colored all that row in. Now I'm gonna get that same color. I don't have to choose it again. I can just click on that Format Painter and then go ahead and color in cells. Um, I find it hard to see the different cells when the lines are not colored in. So sometimes I'll go and highlight the area where I'm working and set the the grid lines to show because then I can count more easily how many I've done of each color as I'm going across. All right, so we can make this one this other strange blue color. Oh, actually, that one looks pretty good, so we'll try that. It's kind of a blue gray. Double click on that format painter, and it looks like there are one, two, three, four, five, six, and I did six there three in that column. So you just keep going um, like this until everything is is formatted just the way you want it. All right, and I will start the next video with this picture complete and show you how to do all the formatting for the mystery reveal. All right, till next time.